In this video, I'm going to test the concept of hanging the chronograph from the barrel to see if that affects the readings and makes this chronograph usable. So basically, my 3D printer is down again, so I haven't been able to print out a good one of these yet. But bottom line, if you're curious, this works. This makes the readings consistent. This makes the chronograph usable. Um, instead of a tripod, having one of these just to stick over your barrel. I kind of like this cardboard because it doesn't scratch anything up. And bam, ready to roll. Um, it's a brilliant idea. Uh, shout out to the guys at Ergonology that, I guess the guy at Ergonology that thought of it. Uh, kudos to you. So I made this one out of a box that one of the tripods I bought for the FX chronograph came in. Um, basically, you know, drill a little hole or cut a little hole in the bottom so that the tripod mount could screw through and screw onto this. I had to cut the uh, front of the box off so that the chronograph could have a face to read. And then I cut a hole right through the top so that it can mount directly onto the barrel. It's hard to do with one hand. Easy peasy. As you can see right now, the hammer spring on my Taipan Veteran, the little red side is the part that it's pointing to, is set for the 13 grain pellet. Each one of these markings shows where I need to set the hammer spring to shoot that grain of pellet 900 feet per second. All of my projectiles are tuned at 900 feet per second. So I've got the FX already hooked up to my barrel up there on a the little cardboard bracket. Um, opened up the FX app, hitting connect, and we're ready to roll. Now, right now I've got the hammer spring tuned to shoot the Jumbo RS. They're a 13.3 grain pellet, 4.3 grain pellet at 900 feet per second. So we'll test to see if that's what the FX. I'll just shoot three shots of each pellet to see if that's what it reads as. Ninety-one. Ninety-one. Nine hundred. On the money. Eight hundred. Ninety-eight. Okay, excellent. So those are great results. So what we're going to do is we're going to tighten the hammer spring over to the 16 mark and then shoot some 16 grain air arms pellets and they should come out to be 900 feet per second. Set to the 16 grain pellet. We're shooting the Diabolo Fields from our arms. Three shot test. Nine hundred five. Nine hundred nine. 909. So now I've tightened the hammer spring up just a little less than half a turn so that the red line is, you know, marking the 18 grain at 900 feet per second setting. All right, so these are the 18 grain JSBs. The FX is doing its thing. It should read around 900 feet per second uh, or close. And if it's doing its thing and it's wrong, then I'll know that I've got my settings set a little too high or a little too low. 905. 909. A little fast, but... 905. Pretty good. 
Um, the gun can move around. I don't have to worry about wobbling or shifting anything, and I'm still getting consistent results. All right, for slug shooting, the dial needs to be turned quite a bit higher because of too much friction in the barrel from the slugs. So we gotta crank this up all the way around just to get from 18 to 21. One full turn, and then a little bit more. Should be able to see that. Oop, maybe that's a little too much. Hey, well, let's test it. If that's a little bit too much, it should be reading just a little high. All right, so this is testing the 21 grain Nielsen slugs. I'd expect these to be a little faster than 900 feet per second because I've got the hammer spring dialed in. It looks like just a hair higher than my marking. Nine hundred seven. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Nine hundred two. It's money. It's what I want. Right at nine hundred. This is great. Nine hundred five. It's right in the sweet spot. Beautiful. So next we'll change from shooting 21 grain slugs to much heavier 25.43 grain pellets. Uh, slide you over here so you can see where the setting is. 25 is right there. And there it is. So now the hammer spring set to shoot the 25.43 grain JSB monster redesigns. Should be 900 feet per second if all is as planned. Nine hundred seven. Nine hundred twelve. Nine hundred nine. Maybe a little high. I can probably dial that down and know that. But maybe that one's a little bit higher. So, um, pretty good. Let's uh, just because I want to make sure that the chronograph isn't just broken and always reading nine hundred feet per second each time. I'm going to dial this back. The hammer spring back half a turn, and let's just make sure it shoots significantly less than nine hundred feet per second. Okay, excellent. So it's working here. Basically, I'm going to leave this in the case at all times. There's no reason to have a tripod with it any, any longer. Um, this is just a cardboard prototype. I'll 3D print a much better one for myself once my 3D printer gets working. The only thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to have an opening right down here where I can, you know, turn the power button on and off. Right now, I kind of have to lean this forward a little bit, stick my finger back there, push the button down to turn it on. It's on, it's ready to roll. 